hope so. it's okay. Well, we don't know if it's uh, going on or, or not. <laughs> it's very curious. Somehow, I you don't know. I press a button, but I I I, I don't see anything. Uh, tell me yeah, if it records okay. or not. Yes, it's not possible. Mm -hmm. No. Well, there is a, there is a live recording. Oh yes, and oh, here it's uh, okay. it seems, seems to, to be. be. Yeah, yes. So if there is a red light, something is not dangerous. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm. Uh, <laughs> so there is a kind of recording. Well, yes, yeah. when it's when His is watching us. Yeah. <laughs> Big brother is watching you. <laughs> Big brother, yeah. Okay. Um, if we were watched a little more by Big Brother, and if Big Brother would a little bit start to think as well, uh, maybe in our differentiation terms, I would say it's not a big... So it, it would be f fantastic, wouldn't it be? <laughs> huh? If Facebook would be a little more differentiated, like uh, we try to differentiate our senses, and uh, uh, or if we are not going like uh, after for clicks, yeah, and for likes, mm -hmm. but for something else. Okay, um, there were uh, some questions, maybe because um, you, you, yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah, but maybe we will think about this later. So I know they just like uh, like all the the collaboration with some you described is very on a very local scale, I would say. Mm -hmm. And how do you? But your piece seems very long, so yeah. I, I just want to. Yes. The pieces are quite long. Well, what is long? Um, I'm also, you know, uh, so the, uh, this piece is half an hour. The string quartets are uh, about 20 minutes. Of course, there are pieces which are an hour long. So, but what is long? So I'm always fascinated by Beethoven and Hammerklavier Sonate, where uh, the slow movement is, uh, in some interpretations, more than 20 minutes. Yeah. This is fantastic. But the, your question, yeah? Um, when I was talking about uh, this kind of s small and very local, yeah? Small um, phrases, small, let's call it melodies, yeah? Of course, and I'm just making the e example on the same uh, way. I can make three of those in a row, or I can also feel a different one, two, for example, one, two, three, just uh, having um, elements in a row, which would be a scale on tonal terms, yeah, da -da 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 -da, yeah? Um, and then maybe I have uh, the synthesis, the synthesis here would be a, a eins, a zwei, a I'm just inventing something, yeah? And so I have, I have these melodies inside, and I have one bigger, uh, by working on the same, in the same mode over, uh, overall, and so I have a bigger figure, yeah? Yes. And a bigger Gestalt. Mm -hmm. And so you can, I can exaggerate this, yeah? Usually I have, uh, uh, um, I do know about the, uh, s uh, how many of those bigger melodies are inside, let's say, um, somehow apart. And then uh, I'm, uh, uh, I'm, so how to say, I'm building the internals then. Yeah? But now comes something that I wanted to say before also because as you know, uh, or maybe as you heard, there is also an aspect that I call the transformation. Um, so that I have a material, or a setup uh, of material, and I want it to be transformed. So um, um, we were, with whom were I? We were talking about the garden, yeah? I'm having my garden, which I was uh, telling you before, yeah? And now I want, I'm presenting you maybe a little bit of the garden, yeah? But ongoing, I have uh, some transformation and not just, it's not just a word, but I have some transformation tools. Yeah? So what can I do? And this is what I will, uh, I'm repeating myself sometimes maybe, but what, I, what can I do to these sounds and not with these sounds? Yeah? 
So I have some tools, and you know there are there are a lot of tools that we can um, uh, that we can find. There is the tool in time. It, it, there's a plus or a minus. So stretching or compressing. Um, I can of course also uh, exaggerate, so bring sounds to a different level. Uh, if, for example, with, uh, we have, with someone of you, I had, we had scales. I can exaggerate scales until scales are so. Uh, it's just a, a festival of scales, yeah. Exaggeration, minimalization. So I'm building my tools, and these tools, then, these transformation tools, are above all those melodies. It's a it's um, uh, it's a, how to say a meta melody which is not heard yeah but these are uh, the tools that are then transforming everything which is set up in those melodies yeah so uh, it's, it sounds maybe a little complex but um, for example I have a, a kind of melody like this yeah and then I have a tool uh, a which is transformation plus, yeah? And so in this first melody, everything is stretched. It's everything is in slow motion. Maybe in the string quartet, you heard that at certain moments, there was this kind of, so and I came to this kind of slow motion, yeah? This is just a tool of mine that the same material if I slow it down, if I press the bows, uh, so if everything gets uh, stiff here, yeah, it slows down. I flip over to another quality of the same material, yeah, and this is my transformation tool. Here, for example, it could be that everything in the harmonic aspect, yeah, is concentrated because it's in the, uh, is it here that's a triad, yeah, is concentrated on a triad, yeah. So everything, all the sounds are filled in within, let's say, A flat major, yeah? This is then that we have uh, everything, uh, we have the whole world, yeah, colored in A flat major, which is, of course, then a strange thing if we have steps in A flat major, if we have blah, 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 etc. yeah? So these are my tools, and um, I'm trying to increase uh, this this you know this kind of box of tools yeah? because uh, and also of course each um, instrumentation each uh, piece has its own tools yeah and another aspect that I have to say we had now two different pieces yeah and maybe you saw um, and it's easier to be seen maybe in the string quartet that uh, a lot of what I do here and I'm just going to the beginning because it's easier, is based on a specific use of the instrument. So that all the sounds that I'm generating here yeah, come out of an idiomatic use of the instrument. Yeah? Nothing should be uh, super exposed to the instrument, but everything should also come out of the idiomatic use of the instrument, and this is also something, uh, an idea that if I want to transform not just the music, I also have to transform the instrument into a specific um, instrument. Yeah? Because we were discussing before uh, about the string quartet, all I do not use any specific extended techniques. Yeah? How, um, how, what, how did I try to transform the instrument? When I, was, uh, when I have the theme, the flaying, yeah? so everything, so the whole theme is that one, uh, let's say one element, this is the bow, and the skin, so the, the, the string, yeah? they have a specific, and which means some kind of cut plus rip. Yeah? This is, uh, this is the whole, uh, this is the, the new, my violin and my cello. Huh? My cello is not uh, um, an up and down bowing, but is having a sharp accent, huh? as you see here, which is then 
uh, it would makes a kind of an, an explosion yeah? and is then uh, um, ripping something off and then uh, releases. Yeah? And so I, I try to redefine the, um, the uh, let's say, ordinary use without bringing in extended te techniques into a certain aspect. Yeah? So I define this not as, uh, so that's not a stream quartet, but it's a cutter stream quartet or a knife stream quartet or, yeah? Sometimes the knives are very nice, yeah? And maybe, you know, there are, there are a lot of films uh, where people have a knife and they play with a sharp knife on their skin, but nothing happens, yeah? And, yeah? and sometimes you just see, and this is Hitchcock, uh, a lady cutting the onions and the music, and you say, oh, the, mur the murder comes, the murder comes, no, it's just the cat. <laughs> yeah? um, this is suspense. <laughs> but, yeah. And so, and this is my way of trying to be uh, in, in our cultural aspect of the string quartet, but redefining the string quartet under a certain idiomatic aspect of the string quartet. It's, it's a kind of a paradox. Yeah? Doing something new by doing the old, yeah. Um, but also, you know, uh, we are maybe in, his, in a historic situation where uh, we have a morphology of contemporary music, uh, which is quite easy to set up. You know, um, will not uh, sing you some contemporary music, and you will immediately know the composer, etc., <laughs> etc. Et yeah which were great composers and still are great composers, yeah? but we are now in a different time. Yeah? So, it's a Lachenmann song. It's his own. That's it. But it's not his own, it's his own in his making relationship. Yeah? It's Sherino, of course. Yeah? <laughs> and it's his own. Yeah? With Sherino, it's a little more because his um, sounds are so precious. Yeah? You cannot steal precious things from somebody. Yeah, it's not precious, it's just, yeah. Uh, and now we're in a situation, at least I think it, yeah, where um, there will be no other, we would, I, for me it makes no sense to, to search for new sounds. Yeah. I'm rather more interested in new relationships because, as I said before, the new relation makes a new uh, or a specific and I always try to avoid to say new because I uh, like to say specific it makes a specific perception and so we have a very ordinary and banal thing looked at it in a different way makes it specific yeah? and now we're somehow in this kind of but maybe we open this aesthetic discussion uh, when we are going you know when we're maybe opening this for us all. So what should you, um, now I was talking about a little bit about the idiomatics, what should you know then? What is, did I forget something that I, uh, sound, yeah? <laughs> what is sound? Because we are, we are also, whoa, sound, yeah? And uh, yeah, I'm in France, uh, okay, oh my God, you know, no, no. And, and sound, and whoa. Oh, but, uh, yeah? There is sometimes there is no signification. <laughs> is Never mind. No. It's a great world, but sometimes yeah. completely with yeah. nothing inside. Uh -huh. <laughs> Maybe just to give you an insight uh, into uh, into my thinking of sound. Yeah? Sound is of course again a relationship. Yeah? Um, that the bell or the the violin has a specific sound is due to the relation that it has to the other sounds and also to our remembrance of sounds. Yeah? Because there is no single sound. If we uh, just imagine that everything is green, we would not see any color. Yeah? For seeing green, we have to see red, blue, etc. Yeah? So any quality that we can perceive yeah, as color, as sound, is just uh, possible if we think in relations and in specifications of relations. Yeah? And so sound is something for me that uh, is an organization of acoustic elements in a specific way and order. Yeah? And sound is also something for me 
And maybe you got a glimpse uh, of it in this piece yeah? uh, that I maybe do not really have to like. Do you like a spike belt? Somehow yes, somehow no. Yeah? Somehow there are sounds that I do not really like. Yeah? Or that at the beginning I would not like because we are all trained and we have a picture of music and contemporary music where some kinds of banalities are not possible, yeah? uh, or they are just possible as quotations, and, but not as sounds that we can work on. Yeah? And this is what I had also to learn with all these projects, that I can take my hands on any object, and my taste, and this is, uh, uh, there is a great bow uh, before Marcel Dujon, because he said, all his life he wanted to neglect his taste because his taste is boring for him because he knows it. And so this is also the try to overcome my own taste because I know that I have a taste. Yeah? And as you see maybe, I am also not able to rip my skin off. And thus I want to do at, in every project something totally different. Somehow maybe there is some kind of me inside yeah thus i'm neglecting it as good as possible as hard as possible yeah but it doesn't work yeah but this is maybe an aesthetic aspect that uh, if we work on the world our preferences do not count anything yeah but we have to work on the world yeah? and this is also something when i was uh, talking about organization and about uh, understanding the world, yeah, we work on the world, yeah, and sometimes we have to work on those things which we do not like because they make us nervous because they, we want to change them. So if everything's fine, we would not see any need of changing something, yeah. But if we see a kind of need of uh, for this, we do change something, and then we have to uh, go into this kind of, uh, and this is the way of art that I am um, trying to do. I'm trying to change the perception, yeah, and maybe what's the time now? Okay, maybe very short before I'm uh, maybe playing you an entire piece, maybe which is just 15 minutes long, but that's maybe, and then we can open the discussion. I would like to talk a little about a little bit about the political aspect of everything, which is included in what I uh, also in the technique aspects, etc that I was uh, talking about, and this is for me, uh, I call it the politics of perception. Yeah? If I am able to do something in my perception, and I'm, my, uh, I'm, uh, I'm the rabbit in my laboratory, so my, the very first rabbit, yeah? if I'm able to do something in my perception, I change my side on the world and so I'm also changing or have the possibility to change something in politics. Yeah? If we all stay in our perception, yeah, we will not change anything. Yeah? For example, if we uh, have the perception that women are always um, not as good as men, we will not change the world. Yeah? We have to see, oops, uh, no, you can also compose. Uh, oh my God. Yeah? I learned something, yeah. So uh, I'm making a joke now, yeah. This is what I'm really sorry. And now what you have to see that women fight it 150 years for this, yeah. They went to prison. They um, there were great uh, Austrian composers who did unfortunately forbid their wives to compose. Thus they were good composers. And this is what I do not like. <laughs> this is hard for me also to to bear, yeah. Uh, and so this is a big political effort. What we small, tiny little composers can do is that we maybe change somehow the perceptions, maybe also somehow the emotions. Yeah? That we can, um, this is a big word, free uh, our perceptions from some kind of, uh, how do you call it, uh, Erwartungen, um, uh, what we are, what we are, Erwartung. The, the Erwartung. Expectations. Uh, uh, expectations, thank you, expectations, yeah, expectations, uh, that we, that we um, 
are more free to open to to go into an an unknown space. Yeah. So that uh, that we have that, for example, beauty is for me something that is very very connected to not understanding in this way. Yeah. To not get it. To have this feeling of there is something for me to experience because experience is uh, something different than the understanding. And uh, this is, of course, I know that this is a naive and utopian aspect, yeah? but somehow it feels for me that this is a power of art and not just of music, but of any art that is maybe stronger than, uh, or let's say right-wing politicians have a very good nose that this is a very uh, dangerous aspect for them. Because at the moment when people uh, like to go to the unknown, to go, uh, to go for uncertainty, to go for situations that are somehow making them nervous because they want to solve it or want to change something, this is the moment when, uh, we, when right-wing politicians and hierarchies have a, a specific problem. Yeah? And I think some kinds of arts will more, some less, but go exactly for this. And now, one last uh, aspect, the, the hierarchies. Yeah? Maybe uh, all these organizations that I have, yeah? maybe you saw that there is always an aspect that is the totally dehierarchialization, is this a word? So, um, throwing the hierarchies away, by building various relations. Yeah? Hierarchies always say there is one relation which is the, uh, the, the, the one and only relation. Yeah? If we go for this type of art, and you know, it's not just me who does this. Yeah? I can show you in Beethoven that he does the same, and in Webern, and in Francis Bacon, and uh, in etc. etc. Yeah? out of my point of view. Yeah? So this means that uh, there is no truth, there are no hierarchies, and the relations that we build are the ones that uh, show us the aspects of the living and the dead and the stones and all the things around us. Yeah? And this is something which is very, very important for me because uh, um, being relieved from the hierarchies also brings a big uncertainty in our lives. And this is something that I also can call beauty, as well as the not understanding, as well as um, the aspects of research. Yeah? So beauty is, let's say, no, I don't take beauty as something, ah, oh, is this beautiful? Yeah? This is the remembrance of a lost beauty. Yeah? Beauty is something where I'm, what's going on? Yeah? And this is what happens to me if I read a sentence of Proust, if I look to a Francis Bacon picture, if I uh, listen to Beethoven, Frédéric Durieux, I hope also to your music. And this is something that I'm really aiming for. And this is the political aspect which will never be in the front here. So um, we will never meet our music at a, at a, uh, uh, at a political, how do you say, uh, uh, strike or uh, now strike, how, how do you strike, yeah? Mm -hmm. we do strike. We stri uh, when you walk on the street, you do? Yes, strike. Strike, strike, yeah, okay. Yes. Grave uh, manifestation. Yeah. But the power is somewhere else, yeah? But, and this is also, I think, that we uh, should be aware of, it doesn't come, but we have to do it, yeah? We have to go for the dehierarchialization. We have to go for various and always open relations. Yeah? And we have always to see, and now I'm coming back to what I was uh, saying at the very beginning, in the last moment, what did I really do? Yeah? Which kind of uh, explosion, which kind of energy did I really uh, open here? And then I have to find also can some kind of responsibility some kind of, um, uh, how to say, answer to this. Yeah? And I'm telling you a story. Um, I never heard the piece again. It was a piece by a very well-known Italian composer for <coughs> uh, orchestra and choir. And it, 
it was said that it's just a researching sound. Huh? I was sitting in the audience and it was just like a bulldozer of, uh, rolling over me for, I think, 20 minutes. And I was totally dead. And then someone said to me, oh, what a sound. And I said, no, it was not, it was not a sound. It was simply the massive power. And I was just, you know. Huh? And this composer, at least as far as I see it, did not see what he really did to a body, to, a, to the ears, and uh, how strong this kind of um, gesture against me was. Yeah? So he was really killing me. Yeah? The same as if, you know, if, I was, if I was talking so soft huh? and very slow. And you're all, you're all waiting for the next word. This is a gesture of power. Yeah? Some people do it in because they know it, yeah? and this is yeah? and others do it because they feel that, okay, they have then, a, there is an ear for them then, yeah? but we composers, we have to see what we really do, yeah? and if we have those pieces, yeah? they are not unaggressive pieces, they are so aggressive because we, yeah, and totally different uh, Feldman's pieces, yeah, where the pianissimo is the sound. Yeah, if you don't have the pianissimo, yeah, and it's these are not soft pieces. They are so wonderful sounding pieces, but just because the playing mode has to be pianissimo, otherwise it's penalized. Yeah, and most of the um, um, uh, how to say. It? Performances I heard, especially from bigger pieces, ensemble pieces, were all way too loud. Yeah, because an orchestra is very hard to play pianissimo. Yeah? Usually, uh, if you hear, for example, Coptic Light, it's more or less kind of piano. Yeah? But, and these are the gestures that I'm, I'm also talking about when I say we have to take the responsibility. If I'm so soft yeah, and I'm forcing you to listen, I have to take the responsibility and then also give you a relation to this aggressive aspect so that maybe you can relieve or whatsoever. Yeah. Uh, yes. Maybe this was, uh, I'm, I'm sure I missed a lot of things, yeah? And I didn't tell you a lot of uh, stuff because there are also many things, but maybe it's much more important now to, to, to discuss a little bit that uh, maybe you give me your ideas or your view of this and then we can just uh, share a little bit before yes so maybe sh uh, I should play one more piece yes, yeah? um, uh, maybe I will play you a piece where is it uh, uh, here it is a solo piece because we didn't go Do you want to read the score or uh, just without the score? For me, it's interesting if you can or, or beginning to, to show the to, to show the notation because yeah. for me it's very important to see the notation of the composer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's always a lesson for us. Yeah. Music this is not is only notation. A piece, more or less. I w uh, somehow it is for a solo instrument, but. Um, it's an um, oh, electric guitar solo mm -hmm. or electric, here we are, so, yeah. Uh, does any one of you know this piece or uh, did hear the piece? Good. Mm -hmm. Come on, why, why don't you get smaller? No? Strange. Okay, but no problem, yeah. So, this is an ele electric guitar solo piece. There is, I'm also playing it because you can have the score. And also the piece on it's there is a score follower on YouTube, so yes, you can yes, you, you can uh, redo it, yeah, mm -hmm. and re-listen it. So, uh, what did I do? An electric guitar player has a guitar, two hands, and two legs. Yeah, this is what you see more or less here. This uh, oh, yeah, here. This is one hand. 
This is the second hand, this is the first, and this is the second leg. Yeah? Um, the right hand is not plugging, but the right hand has a bottleneck and is making strikes and making glissandi on the uh, between the um, supple, uh, the saddle and the end of the fingerboard. The right hand, most of the times, yeah, is uh, it's all very idiomatic. Is uh, tapping, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, there are rare situations where it is not. And the left and the right foot, they have uh, different uh, pedals. There is an extreme wah wah, and there is a granular. Uh, um, somehow, it's a granular distortion and ring modulation, and they have um, also, as you see, a counterpoint. Yeah, and so. I have a human here with a strange kind of six string uh, element and then his legs are doing tra uh, electronic transformation and the guitar is no more a guitar but has a movable saddle yeah? and this is the grounding setup that I produced here yeah? uh, and then it, yeah, he played uh, it's Jaron Deutsch playing yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Not uh, and I did this because Jaron was asking me for some studies for his students at the Darmstadt course. Yeah. And um, for and he asked, I think, so, some composers. And so I was, of course, also thinking how to uh, go um, um, from a very idiomatic use, and the guitar is a fantastic instrument to um, be very idiomatic on the instrument, because otherwise you can't write a good guitar piece, um, for the electric guitar. Yeah? Of course, as you might see, it's not an easy piece, and all the other pieces are also quite demanding for the musicians. On the other hand side, they also question for very normal as well um, techniques, as uh, we heard in this instrument. This piece is 15 minutes. And I think that's that's okay. Or it's not too long for no, 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 it's okay. Yeah, because maybe it's good to have one piece in yes, yes. in the whole length also piece. for the full. Yeah, I think so. Okay, do you work? Yes. <coughs>
one. Yes, <laughs> great one. Yeah. So, uh, just as you saw, one of my tools also was, where is it? To give you an, another example, um, this pedal cadenza, yeah? I just said, no, f no hands, just legs, yeah? So I just reduced the whole guitar, and this is just the system of the electronics, yeah? This is one of my tools to say, okay, guitar player doesn't play with his hands, yeah? And that makes a different sound. All that he does was, as a cadenza is, free, improvised to the um, um, player's uh, ears, yeah? And so, just to give you a, a very clear example, how then the whole system of the electric guitar is by a tool, thematized also in this piece, so that we have two pedal cadenzas, yeah, where you hear just two different setups and the playing with the setup. Questions or uh, remarks or uh, disagrees or <laughs> please just women is sense of, uh, from, from my perspective, so sense of searching in the material, and then suddenly you find yourself in this uh, book, uh, loop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You find these loops. And for me, it's like a freeze frame of all this uh, meandering, and yeah. suddenly you, you're mm -hmm. arriving somewhere relatively concrete and, and settled and stable. But maybe you can explain what it, what is this loop doing in your music? How how is it created? Mm -hmm. yeah. you mm -hmm. it? Well, sometimes you know, um, I have to um, something has to turn around like in a washing machine, yeah, until uh, the material is wiped out more or less, yeah. Mm -hmm. And this looping and this uh, uh, repetition is also some uh, let's say a tool, yeah where I'm repeating, 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 like in a washing machine, and you don't see the, uh, that more, the, the uh, how do you say, the cloth anymore the inside. Yeah. On the other hand side, of course, there is an energetic um, aspect that by looping, we are um, gathering energetics, and then at some point, phew, I'm, uh, we are shooting us out. So um, it's it's uh, this uh, I like uh, sometimes these two aspects of wiping out the material and gathering just energy, yeah, for then taking taking a different spin, yeah, and this is um, and it has also maybe something to do with an aspect of um, maximizing the physical uh, aspect. If you just repeat uh, in a, in the violin, uh, no, we didn't show the violin solo, but in the string quartets where there are just moments where they just repeat uh, uh, downstrokes yeah, for pages. Yeah. And of course this is a physical aspect that is an energetic aspect and is also a focus and a limitation of the material. Yeah. And this is how I use it as limitations, reductions and also um, then maximizing energy. And yes, uh, it's right. It's not just in one piece. Yeah, maybe this is one of my, you know, one of my knives or uh, how do you say <laughs> screwdrivers? <laughs> yeah. Um, what's your relation with pulsation and rhythm? Because there are a lot of things that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah. Uh, at first, um, straightforward uh, squared rhythms are one possibility for me uh, is, is also one, uh, one tool. Yeah? Sometimes I say, okay, all the material is just uh, appearing on, uh, in this kind of rhythm. No other rhythm is, uh, so I wipe out all the other rhythms. Yeah? Because usually I'm taking rhythm as a kind of uh, semantic or as a material. Yeah? With semantics, with uh, something to speak, ba bam, yeah, like this, or oh, ba bam. I'm always taking easygoing rhythms, yeah. And then I can reduce them until maybe something is very slowly repeated, or fast repeated, or extremely fast repeated, yeah. 
first aspect, second aspect, of course, the repetition, especially in the um, uh, electric guitar piece, is of course a cultural uh, knowledge, yeah. And of course, maybe it's not just uh, the rhythm here that we have, but if maybe if we just, for example, well, I want now oh, I will show you uh, maybe just some very few moments. If you analyze all the chords here, yeah, you could also these are less, but even worse. They are all chords that are used in pop music, in jazz, so it's all sus diminished, so I could write the symbols. Yeah? So, um, and this is throughout the whole piece. Yeah, there is no, I think there is no chord which is not a chord uh, coming out of the pop, rock, and jazz tradition. Yeah? Uh, so and so we have of course uh, in with the, with the, the instrument brings us this whole cultural aspect and the material is also reflecting uh, this aspect and as well of course the rhythms here yeah so the rhythms he uh, here which are so yeah of course this is uh, somehow has a an half an eye to heavy metal and and all this stuff yeah. And then, of course, the, the question of that you uh, mentioned with the with the loops, and of course, you know, um, I have two rhythmic layers, yeah, mm -hmm. one layer on the left hand, one on the right hand, and what I I'm not Fernihan, neither in the quality of composing nor in the calculation um, intelligence that I had, and I also didn't want to, you know, over uh, exaggerate. This kind of uh, playing, yeah, and somehow, um, at least for my feeling, I with two and three, yeah, I'm I'm done with the rhythmic complexity. I do not need a uh, seven six, yeah, and of course then somehow I reduce because of course these you know these rhythms are um, some those that we we also Im uh, have embodied, and it's uh, necessary also to break them and to come back to them. So this might be some of the... Um, and, the and also the, what I was saying, that the material changes if I put them into squared rhythms. Yeah? This is uh, uh, in a totally different aspect. Maybe you remember this is something, a wonderful uh, thing uh, that Lachenmann did in the Deutschland lied when he put the rhythm of ja, da, da, ba, 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 and the Siciliani and put any material on it. Yeah? Yeah. And we have the Siciliano, yeah, but it's and it also has this kind of swing, yeah, but with totally different material. Um, this is uh, the aspect that I was always absolutely fascinated uh, with Lachmann when he was very close at the cultural use and could really, could really, um, from this basic levels, could change it. Yeah? He then went uh, maybe a little bit a different direction, but this was the direction that I was totally fascinated on. Yeah? Uh, this kind of working on banality, on uh, remembrance. Yeah? And I was never so much interested in this, um, um, because that's his sound, well, and that was amazing and great. Yeah? But um, I knew that this is, yeah. I did even avoid to write any noise, I think from 92 to 96. So when I was your age, no noises. <laughs> <laughs> Just, you know, get rid of, because it was so, ah, wow, you know, you, we did, everybody did something on noises then, and I said, okay, no, no noises. Somehow did I? Uh, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so you have a thought uh, about the organization of the form before you spend the hours to work, or you to, 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 uh, have to it's come not so to easy side. to understand you. Uh, put the mask off. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you have a thought uh, about the organization of the form before you start to write, or you find it a little by little? Um, honestly speaking, yes and no. <laughs> yeah. So I have a, often a clear concept, yeah, but the concept is developing while writing. 
and when while writing the concept is then reorganized uh, so um, so uh, yes because you know sometimes I know well of course for example here I knew that somewhere there will be the pedal cadenza yeah? and I knew not where it would be but I knew it will be not at the beginning because there is uh, there has to be a kind of a, a working through the material until I, I come to this situation yeah um, and so yes yes and no yeah. Yeah. Uh, but every concept that we make is a concept that we can also throw away but the great thing is that we have it in mind and everything that we throw away is still in our heads as a possibility or as a non non possibility so it still uh, changes us and this is uh, this is I think also a very good aspect yeah Well, uh, maybe as you see, many of my titles are playing with aspects of sad songs, songbook, comic sense, uh, not common sense, but comic sense, mm -hmm. semantic investigations, uh, and studies for a portrait. So I have, I have started uh, with, a quite, uh, with a series of solo pieces, and studies for a portrait are, of course, um, referring to Francis Bacon yeah but of course none of the pieces is referring to Francis Bacon but what I'm referring to and what I'm so fascinated on is this kind of um, how to say this energy and this uh, obsession yeah? always painting himself again and always painting uh, for example his 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 friend yeah and always finding new um, uh, sensations in the faces and always also going into the color yeah? and this is something that um, that is very close to me and this, is it is some kind of a homage or yeah? and there are some other titles um, um, studies for imaginary portraits studies for portraits in the surrounding so um, and there is also something which is also strange uh, getting a little uh, over the years so you know I'm getting a little older that um, I dare more and more and more and more to be very uh, subjective so that I'm also uh, that I'm somehow you know the, the, the anthropological aspect is I'm not I'm in the center but I'm trusting that that is uh, that for me something uh, is important and I can also be honest and put it into the score yeah so somehow of course these are not self portraits but they have a lot to do with me with my um, perceiving the world also there is a big uh, a very long violin solo moved by which was maybe the first one where, where I really because it's some sometimes things are also relying to your personal what's happening in your life yeah but this was and it's a, it's a violin solo so I could keep it for me quite a long time yeah and um, and I found also by these techniques that I showed you that very personal sensations and experiences can be transformed into music without being biographical or narrative or in this kind of way at, at least I uh, feel it like this yeah um, uh, being the wounded artist or uh, something like this. No, it's a very, it's still a very structural and uh, let's say uh, mm, researching uh, method, but it's very, uh, it's also at the same time very, uh, let's say very, very up, very loaded with all that I experience, feel, etc. Yeah. So to the titles, yeah. But titles are always, yeah. uh, I don't know. <laughs> no, no, my answer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I, I had a question, uh, like simply concerning pitches. And how do you deal with pitches? Because I hear so many <laughs> colors, sometimes of reminiscence of yeah. um, J 
German romanticism, Armani and some places like romantics and, and mm -hmm. all that club. I, I don't think you have a far more uh, meta to deal with it. And yeah. mm -hmm. Sometimes it's very... Mm -hmm. Well, okay, oh, pitches. Yeah, uh, speak fast, speak. It's in, very, in, very, in very short terms, pitches are for me qualities. Yeah, so I have no system. I have not a, I have no rows. I have uh, somewhere in the back of my pieces there is a there. I have um, I think twenty sheets, yeah, with uh, which I made fifteen years or twenty years ago, where I extracted um, chords and structures. But this is just a, it's just like it. How to say? It's um, it's like a, if you have a big park and you have the and it's just a, where I can choose yeah because I'm yeah. but what what is qualities when, when I'm when I'm talking about pitches I'm uh, talking about uh, something about a single note yeah and then what is and then I made s some kind of a row yeah two single notes and maybe they could be detuned then I have an octave, then maybe we can go to the fifth and to the fourth. Then I uh, maybe can add something and that's then a triad. Then I can have a triad plus, yeah? two triads. So I'm just, uh, and then I build chords yeah? until I have very complex and whatever chords. Yeah? So <coughs> this is a quality. And if I'm made, and this is then when I have the material, yeah? for example, I can then say this is not a, uh, just a stroke on the violin, but it's a stroke, uh, a downstroke on a very open interval. Yeah, so it's not any interval, but it's an open interval. And the next one, if I would go, for example, for uh, and this, then and here we have a cluster. Yeah, um, and if I make this A B synthesia thing, yeah. The first one could be a fifth, then could be a cluster, and then is a very complex chord. For example, the chord that Mahler uh, um, found in the tenth. Yeah, just for an for an example. Yeah. Um, so this is the quality use of uh, of uh, the pitches. Yeah. Um, there is something that I'm using. I have. Um, these are not rows, but these are kind of, uh, how to say, these are chords that I bring into the um, uh, hor 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 horizontally, yeah? And these are then uh, notes, or these are pitches that will give, for example, certain uh, fundamentals, yeah? So just pitches that I'm relying on, yeah? And then on these, I put these qualities. Yeah. In this piece, of course, pitches are something different because we have a very uh, we have the system. What's that? Sorry, when you speak about qualities, it's much more about like uh, according to to kind of complexity parameters or is it it's all qualities? Well, uh, it's just qualities of my ear, and, and, and you know. So and uh, and these chords, then they are given by me by those kind of um, chords that I made and these are mostly uh, chords that are ring modulated by several pitches yeah and, uh, and these are just chords that I found and and I, I think I was a week just uh, ring modulating chords because I did not have a computer program that did it so everything calculated and a lot of miscalculations I, I assume yeah but that's not the Im important thing for me out of them, I get, for example, complex chords. Yeah, I do not find the complex chords. So, what is this? Ah, yeah. But ah, this is a complex chord. Is this uh, okay? Up. Oh, ooh, mm, I have to change. Yeah. So this is then what my ear says. Yeah. So this is a very easygoing, totally banal um, uh, quality line. Yeah. And of course, if I go. In this, then you will see that uh, this is one line of uh, qualities, and if I'm using uh, slight distortions uh, and schwebungen, yeah, we get different qualities. And if I'm then, as in the string quartet,
going into detunings. Yeah, I can have, for example, very easy going chords like uh, fourth suspension. Yeah, and if I put in into the fourth suspension a uh, high C, yeah, everything is is great. Yeah, different. chords that I'm uh, as I, that are also you know this and these chords. Yeah, a G major with the two flat B. Yeah, which is uh, somehow. And one that I'm also using sometimes is this or this, which is somehow, you know, they are very vague, you know. And these are the additional qualities that color the, those that we know. Here, when we go for the, of course, uh, for example, what can I show? Oh, let's say here, yeah. We have two types of qualities. These are very easy going, you see B, C, D, E, this, these are very easy going scales, yeah, coming out of a, of a system. This is a major chord, uh, very odd stuff, yeah. But we have here the transformation of the whole system because the bottleneck is changing the chord totally, yeah. So uh, what you read here is just partly this what you hear because I have the transformation system of the, of the bottleneck. Yeah? And that is why I'm in this piece referring just to very, very um, easygoing chords because otherwise you wouldn't hear the, the change in here if I would go for quarter tones, you know. Quarter tones on quarter tones on quarter tones. It's, uh, the, the ear would be um, best, organized, best organized and then I would not have the possibilities that uh, that you see here, yeah, that I have a distorted. Uh, so this means that this is on the uh, because um, on the sixth fret from the um, saddle, yeah, around about, yeah, and then you see here uh, that this is a, um, a suspended uh, chord, yeah, and then it goes away and it opens, yeah. So I have the. Uh, the distorted or the, the transformed chord and then the real chord then comes a next uh, on, a, on another on the tenth fret yeah and then uh, this chord is again um, uh, transformed and then comes this seventh chord yeah which then uh, is another uh, chord the, 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 the minor chord which again opens and so I have this game between qualities, yeah, and this is uh, at least what I know just possible if I have really simple chords. Yeah, I'm sorry, but we must finish very soon because ah, okay. I must give back the computer and so on because some okay. people must go away. I'm so sorry. No, no problem. Uh, this, uh, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. I would like to thank you a lot once again. Uh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> I know that uh, I'm very happy to have a composer coming from another country that are part of us because so often friends who are believed me always me, between us too much and uh, <laughs> it's very important to have the German area ideas naturally all the German composers are not the same you can see that uh, between uh, Lachenmann and uh, Clemens is not the same absolutely not but it's not a uh, fragrance of music and a manner of thinking is very important for us, and that's why. Uh, three things. Uh, where is the CD of uh, Clemens? I must take it again. Uh, do you accept that we, I take a photograph of, by you, of you and the students? Of course. Yes? Uh, so I, expect, uh, I accept, maybe you don't expect it. Yes, you can. <laughs> and after maybe someone yeah. can take a photograph of my colleague. And, uh, yeah. and what I wanted to say, because we were talking outside, I'm coming back in February. And also, yes. yeah, and because w some of uh, you uh, have no access uh, for, for tomorrow's uh, lectures or so, and for me, it would be no, really no problem just to have, we, uh, we do not need any Erasmus uh, okay. stuff. And we can just, and I write you, and I write also Stefano. Yeah? Okay. Yes, but I will, I will, I will. Yeah, I, 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 I do not have that close uh, contact. You can uh, send me an email and I will. Yeah, uh, we, will we will have contact yes. before. And, and for the students, I will give to, to Brenda, who is on uh, yeah. uh, uh, IMSU, because they are in connection with the other one. 
because I don't yeah. have all the addresses, you know. So yeah, maybe you together, would you accept? If you accept yeah. or not, it's only a souvenir. Souvenir our address, Miss. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a wonderful thing, but maybe I can't put it yeah. here. And we have. Yeah. And so uh, you're so wonderful, everyone. And uh, you I don't have to uh, smile. Jeez. Yeah, you can do what you, can. you do what you can. Okay, but I smile two, three. Yeah, I okay, smile. thank you. And someone can take uh, two or three photographs of. Yeah. Okay, maybe yeah. we must go there because uh, there is a. Uh, I'm going to be able to show you how to do it. It's impossible. You don't put it in a big room like that, you have to be a senior and a chef collector. Nice to meet you. Thank you all for the questions because uh, questions always uh, <laughs> show that something is uh, a question and this is good. Yeah, okay. I'm looking forward to tomorrow at noon. Somebody is. Uh, it's you? Okay. Uh, and it's, uh, what is your room number? 270. Maybe uh, you can be in front of the uh, uh, university and you bring me to the room. Oh, Do yes. Is there a possibility? Because I will not find out. Ah, you will not find out. Oh, I take you. No, no, no. Oh, yes, I will not. We can meet, uh, let's say, five or ten we'll, minutes before. We'll arrive at ten. You arrive at ten? A little bit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Keep your eyes open. No, no. Okay, no. Okay, no. Okay, no. Ah, yes. Keep your eyes open. I'll find out. No, I'll find out. No, I'll find out. To see you there. What, is, what is your room number? I will I have a photograph. I will send it. I take a photograph. Yeah. 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 When you spoke with uh, the set Ah, okay. Yeah. Nice. 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 No, no problem. I find it. I find it. Brendan, c'est tout qui me l'a dit ça Oh, ben voilà Brendan, euh, vous pouvez arriver un peu avant 10 heures sur, en bas, à l'accueil ou à la cafétéria What you want Cafétéria or in front of the entrance yeah. Ah, yeah. inside. Yeah. Inside, because it will be very important. Non, non, non. Inside or at the cafétéria Oui, oui, oui. Ok, ok, ok. But I will send you the... Vous pouvez le faire Un peu avant 10 heures, So you're somewhere in that museum. Yeah. Ah, okay. I didn't even really come from the museum. I did want to say, I did want to say, Graz was my was another choice. Ah, okay. I could have um, gone there, and it's so I'm so glad you had with me. Okay. Yeah. Are <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. uh, you you're in the in the masters now? Okay. Or? Yeah. And you you're finishing your master in in New Zealand then? So you're here. Oh, you yeah. Ah, you finished it. Yeah. So but you know, go back. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. yeah. You chose the wrong school. No, but uh, you know. <laughs> Our new music world is so no, small. Ah, okay. Ah, you were here at Graz too? No, 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 a little bit from that. That's good, yeah. And maybe, you know, so we meet some because our world is very small. For sure. Somewhere, yeah, someone. Yeah. Yeah. And if you pass by someone in uh, Austria or something like this, just uh, find my email also on my website and then yes. you can just. When you ask me if you want. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Because New Zealand is then a little far. Yes. Well, it's, the best. <laughs> it's the other <laughs> is also. I would be afraid if I must go to, to New Zealand. <laughs> because to be in, in a plane for 20 hours? 30. Yeah. 30? 30. No, I won't. <laughs> I would like to prefer to go with a boat for one year. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's better. I'm so, so, I'm so afraid. And what I've heard is that... Uh, more and more, I'm afraid, I must, I confess that I'm afraid. Not afraid, but 
Ah, je suis un peu claustrophobe. Ah, okay. De yeah. plus en plus. Yeah. And New Zealand, what I heard, is very beautiful, but it's some, in some uh, points it should be a little like Austria. So, J'espère que j'ai bien stoppé, mais je ne suis pas sûr. Ah, oh là là, je crois que je n'ai pas stoppé. Non, c'est là. Ça marche toujours. Oui, ça marche toujours.